down fifth wheel trailer has become more than just an eyesore for a woman who lives across the street from yeah. it. The woman's trying to sell her house, and according to her real estate agent, the sight of that trailer is scaring off potential home buyers. Our core Harlan is getting answers about whether anything can be done. There is a 76-year-old woman, her son and her daughter living in that fifth wheel trailer here not far from 82nd in Alberta. They say they have permission from the commercial property owner to be parked there for the time being. But their trailer is not such a welcome sight for people right across the street who are trying to sell a home here. Elizabeth Davis bought this fifth wheel two weeks ago and had it parked on a grass strip of private property near Northeast 82nd in Alberta. Are you being a bother to people around here? I don't think so. These guys have never complained. And you don't have a lot of traffic in and out of here? No, it just does. Yeah. <laughs> pretty quiet? Try to be. <laughs> Elizabeth and her two grown kids live here with her. They're struggling financially. But the sight of their trailer is giving the real estate agent across the street some real headaches. Neither he nor the homeowner wanted to talk on camera about it. But the agent did tell me privately he's worried that potential buyers will pass right by this classic one-owner retro home because of the dilapidated trailer across the street. He, in fact, had to cancel an open house this past weekend. The looks of my trailer is what they're complaining about. I'm sorry, it looks like, yeah, it will until I can get the money to fix it. So I went to the Portland Bureau of Transportation to find out how long this trailer might be able to stay there. And the answer is, as long as the person who owns the property where the trailer sits lets it stay there. It's private property. If it was on a public street or a public right-of-way, there are strict limits. But if it's on private land, the landowner has the final say. I also found out if it was on a public street, there's a 24-hour limit for any type of vehicle, and you cannot store vehicles on public streets. Elizabeth Davis's agreement with the private landowner was to be off of this site by today, but it's not soon enough for the people trying to sell a house across the street. In Northeast Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.